Okay, so there's been many updates since I started this series, so I thought why not just go through it and share it with you. Some new ones that I've added to the collection. First up, a 2014 reissue of Kiss's self-titled LP, Kiss. These are a bit pricey now, the 2014s. Mercury would not release any Kiss vinyl after 1985 until 2014. All the 2014 reissues are beautifully packaged. This is a beautiful kit with 180 gram vinyl. It's shipped with a white paper cutout sleeve, which was replaced, but kept of course, and added a poly rice paper sleeve for safekeeping. It has a reissue blue Casablanca Smoking Man label with the Mercury branding in silver print. It's nice to have a newer, cleaner copy of this LP. The early black printed KISS LPs are almost impossible to find without wear marks and the huge large ring around the cover from the LP wearing against it over the years. The rear cover has the Mercury UME branding with KISSonline.com and other liner notes and information. Very nice. Outstanding. Up next, a UK unofficial release of Hotter Than Hell in blue swirl vinyl. This was released sometime in 2020 during the COVID pandemic. The folks over at Pi Records must have been bored and needed something cool to do. And cool they did. It was pressed by Pi Records out of the UK. This is a cool collectible LP. The reissue cover is well done with no unnecessary branding on it. It ships with a reprint inner sleeve with the 1970s Filmworks Chocolate City branding. Super cool. The rear cover, it's just as cool as the front. No barcodes and no other noise to mess up the original art. The LP label has a reissue Filmworks label from 1977 with the Love Gun artwork of the band and the Pi UK branding. It has a hype sticker announcing the blue vinyl and a cool poster that's inside. The poster's fantastic. I think this is a great addition. This is a collectible copy for sure and I recommend it for your collection. This is the only blue vinyl version that I've found. There are also clear ones out there that I've seen as well. The blue swirl on this LP is just gorgeous. I did take it for a spin, and the color vinyl doesn't sound too bad either. It'll be put on the shelf and never see the light of day until I sell it at my retirement party. All right, there you go, that's that one, fantastic. Okay, Kiss Resurrected. This is a Walmart campaign to sell limited edition collectible copies in color vinyl. They were doing this with many other bands, and they are a must-have if you are a collector. It's a nice package. I expected it to be cheap and low quality coming from Walmart, but it's actually a decent reissue. The cover art for Destroyer was painted by fantasy artist Ken Kelly. Kelly was invited to a show and given a backstage pass. He said of the performance, It blew me away. Kelly was then commissioned by the band to paint the cover was rejected by the record company because they felt the scene was too violent. The first painting in the cover was rejected by the record company because they thought the scene was too violent. The LP comes with the reissue Blue Bogart label with the Mercury branding and 180 gram orange colored vinyl. The cool thing about this copy is it comes with a history booklet explaining the history and the trials and tribulations of the recording sessions with Bob Ezrin. The booklet has the original artwork on the front cover. On the back page, it has the Kiss Army logo and the Shout It Out Loud branding. It's a fantastic package and should be in everybody's collection. I even bought two copies to open one up and to keep one sealed. It came with a white paper in a sleeve, which was immediately replaced with a poly rice paper sleeve. It has the Walmart exclusive hype label with the UME branding and barcode. This one already has a ring around the inner booklet. It's shipped this way, which is why I hate paper sleeves. They just fall apart inside the record, even if you're not using it. I was able to brush some of it off. Otherwise, the orange vinyl is beautiful, and it sounds pretty good too. Okay, big doings here. The KISS factory went into overdrive for this one, and it sold out on KISS Online practically overnight. This is the 45th anniversary KISS limited edition reissue in red, white, and blue splatter. Released on December 12th, 2022. This is a definite collectible. Everything about this package is incredible. The front cover arrives with blue print instead of the red found on the early copies and a matte finish. It is also free of any other print other than the logo and the title, keeping this front cover nice and clean. This kit is complete, just like the early versions with the 16-page Kistery booklet, 
showing all the different costume changes from 1974 to 1977, with a little history about the band, the LP shipped and the confetti crowd liners, with the Kiss discography on the back. These are heavyweight paperboard. I put the LPs in rice paper sleeves right away. Just look at that crazy stage. It was the most expensive touring stage for its time, with the band risers, the pyrotechnics, the drum riser, the light up stage. How could you not want to be them? So much fun. The rear cover is super clean with no extra print. It has the Mercury UMG branding and barcode. It ships with the Alive 2 limited edition hype label. It also comes with a complete reproduction of the scratch on tattoos featuring each band member. The colored vinyl comes with the Vintage Filmworks tan labels with the UME branding and Mercury catalog numbers. The splatter wax is crazy cool. I did not play this LP, so I can't tell you how it sounds, but who cares? I have 10 other copies of the Live 2 that I can listen to. I will keep buying Kiss records, so keep an eye out for future videos updating my collection. Thanks for watching. Peace out.